forget a cashless society, the money mantra of the moment is cash yes. Under the current budget squeeze, a growing number of young people have traded digital dollars for cold, hard cash. Paper gold, Texas tea leaves. It's called cash stuffing and it's big business. So cash stuffing is a method of budgeting and there are many. Uh, This one appeals to me because after I've paid all my automatic payments for rent and bills, I take out a sum of cash and I divide it up into envelopes and that covers me for my regular spending like my groceries and petrol. They say it's much easier to maintain a weekly budget when dealing with money in its physical form rather than the fantasy land of digital banking where crippling credit card debt can be conjured with the wave of a hand. You want to start with a cash binder. This is an A6 size binder. It holds within it an envelope for each of the categories that I'm looking to stuff. So I make little savings challenge binders like this and they're just cute little ways to um, put aside a little bit of extra cash in these envelopes. So do the numbers add up? It requires you to be more organised at the beginning of the week or the month or whenever you do it. You'll have to get out your money, decide where it's going, split it up, um, and so a little bit of organisation up front. But for the rest of the week or month, far less brain power. You've already thought ahead and it's all laid out there for you. So most people find that overall, it's a lot less mentally intensive. A recent US study found the average cash transaction was around $20. The average spend of a credit card was 112 bucks a swipe. Having cash in front of us makes more sense than just the one swipe of the card. It, it just works with the lizard part of our brains and often with a lot of money stuff, if you make friends with the lizard part of your brain, it'll go better. But does banking on cash pay off in the long run? Well, some places don't take cash anymore, which can be a little bit of a problem. Um, And some people find they get to the end of the cash and then they'll just switch to credit card anyway. So you do still have to have discipline. You do still have to hit that moment of, I've run out of the cash, that's it, this is what I said I would do and I'm going to stick to it. Kia ora, hey, welcome along to the Project Wednesday night. Mark Richardson's here, everybody. What do you think of this idea, Mark? Yeah, I, I do it. Mm. But I do it with my spending money. I give myself, like, pocket money for just your, your casual spending. The key to it is when you get your cash out, get it in large denominations. So get a $100 bill. Because when that's in your wallet and you pull it out, you don't want to break it. Uh-huh. Mm. So you just don't spend it. It actually, it's made me delightfully tight. <laughs> wow. That is very Mark Richardson advice, by the way. Just get out a lot of $100 bills. Yeah. <laughs> not solve your financial problems. Tons and tons of them. I remember my Nana doing things like this. You know, she'd have her little bit in her purse that was for going into town to go to the four square. Yeah. And I think it's a, it's a really lovely idea. Mm. Yeah. The problem is you can't, you shouldn't have a lot of cash sitting around your house. It's not very safe. Yeah. Someone would... should invent, like, a building or something where we can all, like, put our cash into and then um, that'll be quite secure and safe. That maybe in a safe. Right. Or something like oh, that. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. But what if you needed to get some of that cash and spend it? Well, you could, make it, you could go and withdraw some, I guess, and if you want to leave some, you could <laughs> put a deposit or something. Maybe it's look out, look I, I for like a loan. Or... out the back of my property, you could, you could put your money in if you want. Yeah. yeah. I, sounds very dubious. <laughs> <laughs> great ideas and I also the other thing I like about this is not just the um, the budgeting but then having that little envelope that's for like my family holiday or something mm. nice that you are saving for and you can see yourself putting your leftovers if there are any at the moment and there I, I love that feeling